in the past, pedestrians were sort of random residualized byproduct of the sum total of road policy and of traffic engineers with their uh, sort of attempts to pen pedestrians in. Pedestrians have a right to use pavements that they need to be able to get across these uh, roads and that pavements need to be a pleasant place to, to be with interesting things going on on them. Pedestrians now have a fixed and articulated place in uh, London's transport strategy. So it, it simply means that policy now thinks not only about pedestrians as people walking along the streets, but the experience of the street for those pedestrians. So the Mayor's Transport Strategy is very good. It already says that we should be having 80% of our trips by sustainable transport modes. What we'd like to see is mayors showing how they're going to make that strategy reality. Where's the money going to come from? Where is the improvement going to come? So what we're seeing in London is um, a lot of good schemes in the central area. I live in fairly close to central London. Um, my, the walking environment I have is good. It's possible for me to walk around, walk, walk to work. It's, it's a main mode of transport for me. We worked with uh, people there in Westminster and with the Mayor of London in trying to get Oxford Street um, pedestrianised. Well, actually, we found that is actually it's quite difficult to get um, buy-in um, for, for some communities for for a walking scheme. It was a flagship scheme. Um, of the Mayor of London. It was in the party manifesto for every single mayoral candidate. And yet, as it turns out, getting that um, completed on the ground was, was incredibly difficult. This project showed the absolute importance of involving a community um, in, the, in a new scheme, a new development, at the earliest possible moment. So the local businesses, local residents, and all the users of the space. It really is important to demonstrate very early on um, in, the, in the whole process that this really is a, a benefit to everyone that's using the space. I think there it was um, a process of doing it in small stages, uh, really uh, communicating very well with um, residents, with uh, businesses, and listening to concerns and rolling it out um, more gradually uh, and showing and demonstrating, acting quickly and demonstrating that the project um, is of benefit to everyone. What we're not seeing um, so far is that happening in outer boroughs. And what I mean by that is safer junctions and crossings. Um, it means just better quality uh, pavement potholes um, and just connecting places up, making journeys more attractive. Often there are estates where n that the uh, housing isn't connected up to shops, maybe even to the nearest bus stop with a continuous footway. When I'm a cyclist, I'm often rather aggravated by pedestrians. And when I'm a pedestrian, I'm often aggravated by cyclists. What both pedestrians and cyclists and other road need, users need is a, an understood relationship. A Magna Carta for, for pedestrian users, something like that. I think it's very important not to present walkers and cyclists as in opposition to each other. If you look at the statistics, pedestrians are far more likely to have a, an accident, or indeed a lethal accident, uh, with a motor car. Investment in cycling often, um, and usually, is, is an, actually an improvement for, for pedestrians as well. And, and the explanation, explanation for that is because the, the pavement is improved at the same time. If you're working from home all day, you're not going to want to spend the entire day and evening in. You might then rediscover 
um, the area around you and in your neighbourhood. It will be very interesting to see if um, the you know the practice of community groups coming together, like mutual aid groups in, in a local area, will actually make Londoners who famously and perhaps unfairly are considered to be you know not locally minded. I'm not sure how true I believe that is, but we might see a resurgence in people just valuing, using, and being in their in their local area, which obviously it would be walkable. But in the end, uh, you know, streets, traditional streets are democratic places. They're very democratic places. And so you can't make anything work on them without assent. You can change behaviour. And perhaps actually our colleagues in uh, behavioural you know, behavioral and psychology, uh, you know, sort of behavioural psychology parts of act the academic world could help us here by sending us signals about how we can behave better and use statements in a more... Uh, sensitive and rational way so that everybody gains somewhat.